to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. What's my official business? Women's business, Skip. As in, my uterus? I need to use the restroom. Glad you asked. What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. Your job is creepy, then. Which makes you kind of a creeper. Oh, it's not like that. Do you know what Wells would do to me if I didn't, you know, patrol? You know Wells doesn't really respect you, right? You're just a, a rent-a-cop who needs a haircut. I thought we were friends. Where is this coming from? I, I thought we were friends, too, but... When the man comes down on you, you come down on me. Is that it? Look, look, look! I'm really sorry, Chloe. I'm just so confused right now. You're... you're sorry? Y you just looked at my tits. You, you did! You stared right at them. Oh, shit. I, I don't know what to do. Seriously, my uterus is on fire, dude. What? Is that, uh, descriptive enough? I don't want to know about- En fuego utero, Skip. En fuego utero. I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. Matthews. Huh? I'm here? I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. <sighs> Thank God. Oh, I'm on it. I won't tell Wells. Do what you have to do, okay? I won't tell anyone. All right, which one is Drew's room? I've never been able to get Elliot to play for me. I guess he's either really good or <laughs> really bad. That's not half bad. Okay. <laughs> Dark. Who is it that Elliot's writing about? Elliot is way more artistic than I thought. <laughs> Wait, are these about me? <laughs> what the fuck, Elliot? Elliot's mom seems nice. Lucky Dana. <sighs> Warren Graham is such a nerd. <laughs> There's way less porn here than I would have thought.
Elliot likes to write poetry about me, eh? <laughs> what do I want to say in response? Roses are red, violets are blue, and you're kind of a creeper, dude. Yep, yeah, uh, definitely Drew's room. Good, <sighs> Drew's not here. Okay, <laughs> if I were Drew... Where would I hide my money? Mikey's figures. <laughs> Playing that game yesterday was actually fun. Durgron. Yeah. That fucker's dead. Bad guys don't usually look so obvious, but this is still awesome. Huh, <laughs> awesome. I didn't realize Drew was this good at sports. I bet he can't wait to get out of Arcadia Bay. Frank wasn't lying. Looks like Drew sells happy pills to his fellow meatheads. So many folks are shit out of luck around here. At least Drew has some prospects. Holy shit, Drew. A college scholarship? No wonder you're so into football. Oh, man. Looks like Drew's dad is having a hard time. <laughs> they look so happy. <laughs> Looks like Mikey's been staying here with Drew. Is the money in there? All right. Guess I have to... Damn it. Wrong numbers. Look at that. More numbers. Damn it. Wrong numbers. No, not leaving till I find that cash. No, not leaving till I find that cash. Damn it. Wrong numbers. Damn it. Wrong numbers. Might actually need some help with this one. One, two, two, seven. Uh, worth a shot. Yes! This is kind of fun. Ah. Oh. 
Did a little Drew beat you up too? <sighs> Jackpot. I'm kind of good at this. Okay, got the money. Time to bust out of here. Hey, Elamon. Chloe? What are you doing here? <laughs> no reason. Just <laughs> roam in the halls. Were you wanting to play more tabletop games? Bro, we gotta go. Yesterday wasn't enough? You wanna go another round? Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff. Let's move. Drew, relax. Slow down. Shit. You're making me think you're nervous about something. Drew, what's going on? Don't worry about it. Stay in here and don't say anything, little brother. Whatever you do, don't open the door. You know what's going on? Damon, you shouldn't have come here. School's not the place for this. Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit! I told you, I don't have it. Sales are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two-a-days. Those are gonna kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? I said I don't have it right now. I heard about your dad's job, by the way. Tough time. Yeah, bet a grand would mean a lot to him right now. Where's my money, Drew? I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. Oh, I want my fucking money! You don't have to hit me, man. I'm gonna... Where is it? Please, just give me one week. You're just going to lie there? I thought football players were supposed to be tough. Sorry to have to do this, kid. No one steals from me. No one. Fuck. Fuck. Your brother said to stay inside. It'll be okay, Mikey. It'll be okay. Damn, you are one tough kid. 
Fuck you. Yeah? Well, what about this? Hmm. Ah! Good luck running on that knee now. Bye-bye ah! football. <coughs> well, I'm done. Get my money. Or maybe it'll be your little brother I talk to next. See you soon. Ugh. Uh. Drew! It's, it's okay. I'm okay, little brother. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you. Uh, here. It sounds like you could use this. You took this from my locker? Frank asked me to. I... I didn't know. I, I'm sorry, man. My dad. He... He needs this money. Way more than that asshole does. Thanks. Drew! You need to get to the hospital. <sighs> Don't tell anyone about this, okay? Yeah, no. No way. What, um, what are you going to do? <sighs> about Damon? I don't know. <sighs> One day at a time. I hear you. This day has been so messed up. And that's before having to watch Victoria butcher Rachel's role. At least I can be here for Rachel. If I can find her. Of all the possible scenarios involving Victoria Chase and swords, this one is easily the least excited. Hey, Dana. Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David dig Doug's? Did Doug dig How David's garden? Or did, did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David dig Hey, Samantha. Shh. Nathan, please. I can't do it, Dad. I'm sorry. Keep your voice down. Now listen to me.
You don't understand. They all hate me. They're just gonna laugh at me. Why do you suppose that is? I don't know. Because you show weakness. Just like you're doing right now. Dad! When will you learn that this isn't about you and your problems? This is about the Prescott name. My name. You will not embarrass me. Nathan. Yes. Good. Now. Break a leg. I'll see you after the show. Nathan's dad is some asshole, huh? I know. I wish he'd just go away and leave him alone. Nathan's dad sucks. But you should be careful what you wish for when it comes to parents. Oh, Chloe. I wasn't thinking. I'm sorry. <laughs> for what? You didn't kill my dad. Or did you? <laughs> that was a joke. I... know. Your dark sense of humor reminds me a lot of Nathan's. Actually, the two of you are really similar. Uh, what the hell does that mean? I'm serious. You're both artistic and surprisingly sensitive. You've been through a lot, and a lot of people unfairly judge you for it. I think you stood up for Nathan yesterday because you know what he's going through. Nathan's hurt, and he needs help. But whenever I try to help him, it always seems to make things worse. If you were Nathan right now, what would you want me to do? Okay, but he won't like it. I'd want you to go away and stop bothering me. Chloe! Nathan and I aren't lovable rebels in some terrible 80s movie. We're messed up. You shouldn't be trying to help him, because you can't, and you'll just end up hurt. Do you really think that's true? Yeah, I do. That's really sad. Boys changing tent. Thanks, but no thanks. No way in hell I'm going up on that stage. I should find Rachel. Rachel? Come on, V. You got this. You. Got. This. Oh, shit, shit, shit. I can't do this. I'm going to ruin the play. What are you two doing here? Or did you forget? You let this loser dropout sabotage you. Just like she tried to sabotage me yesterday. But really, I should be thanking you. Now I have everything I wanted. And you've got a new friend. So I guess we're both doing great. Now please leave so I can get ready for my performance. Even though I wish I was the one performing tonight, Victoria, I really am happy for you. I hope it's everything you want it to be. We both do. Right, Chloe? Rachel might be taking the high road, but not me. 
I know how much she wants to perform. All I need to do is convince Victoria that it's in her best interest to quit. I don't know. Have you really thought this through, Victoria? Performing tonight could be the equivalent of... social suicide. What are you talking about? You think I'm going to take advice from a loser like you? You know those voices in your head telling you how terrible you'll be tonight? You should listen to those voices instead. A theater isn't something I'd expect trash like you to understand. Theater is about standing in front of everyone so they can study your every flaw. Every flaw. The dramatic arts at Blackwell are venerated by... What am I saying? I don't have to justify myself to you. You know the phrase, drama queen? It's not a good thing. It's the thing no one wants to take to the prom. Only the best of Blackwell get to perform. And I've earned this. Victoria, you, you just won that photography award. You're actually good at that. Why waste your time on this clown show instead? Chloe, you're being a little harsh, don't you think? No, she's right. She is? I am? What was I thinking? Oh, look at this thing. I can't go out like this. I can't play this part. I don't know the lines. I don't understand the stupid play. I don't even like theater! You don't know the lines? Hello? I was cast as understudy to you? What were the chances I was actually going to be here? So... I quit! The show can go to hell for all I care. I'm not going down with it. You outdid yourself, Price. <laughs> I guess I did. <sighs> I better get ready. Oh, hey. Uh... That's mine. A shirt for a free spirit. I knew you were gonna pick that one. You can read me like a script, Rachel Amber. Oh, okay. I better start getting into costume before the- Sweet pardon. We're ruined. The show is ruined. That was quick. My dear young artists, a misfortune most unkind has befallen us. Juliet? is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. Would that she could but manifest on her master's whim as a true spirit. Alas, devoid of an understudy, the situation is a dire one indeed. I'm afraid we may have to cancel. Truly, we are a cursed lot. Even my prodigious imagination cannot conceive of a worse turn of fate. That's it. I will not abide this lack of professionalism any longer. I quit! Victoria? In fact, I am protesting the entire Blackwell Arts Program. It's time our talents were appreciated and not squandered by subpar faculty. <laughs> Good luck with your train wreck. Touché, fates. Touché. Mr. Keaton, perhaps I could fill in for Victoria? My dear, your visage is as a vessel sent by the heavens to offer passage to my stranded soul. But I'm afraid without our Ariel, all is still lost. What? Uh, uh, oh, no. Mr. Keaton, no. Chloe could step in for Juliet. No fucking chance. At least until the road's clear. The romantic. She's the right fit for Juliet's costume. She is indeed. Tell me, my dear, have you ever acted before? Hell no. She's being modest. We play improv games all the time. And she's fantastic at it. My dear, what if I told you that the entire fate of the production rests upon your slender shoulders? I'd say you're super fucked. Chloe. Please, for me. <sighs> Damn it.
can't believe Rachel's talked me into this. I seriously have to memorize all of this? Thanks, Rachel. Why does it feel like Steph is mocking me from afar? When life gives you lipstick, use it to tag shit. We had it. Looks like I'm late, as usual. The only thing worse than looking at spandex is being forced to wear it. By accident, most strange. Bountiful fortune hath mine enemies brought to the shore. Here, cease more questions. Thou art inclined to sleep. Tis a good dullness, and give it way. I know thou canst not choose. Come away, servant. Come. Ah, shit. I'm on. <gasps> oh, uh, that's I you. I am ready now. Get. Up there. Approach, my Ariel. Come. Damn it. No problem. I've got this. I just walk to Rachel and say my line. Nay, tis not the proper time for sport. Nay. Tis not the proper time for sport. Ugh! That killed my eyes! <sighs> All hail, great mistress. I, uh, I come to answer thy best pleasure. Most fearless, generous spirit, hast thou performed to point the tempest that I bade thee? <laughs> I boarded the king's ship. In every cabin, I flamed amazement. The fire and cracks of sulfurous roaring, the most mighty Neptune seemed to besiege and make his bold waves uh, tremble. My brave spirit, who was so firm, so constant, that this coil would not infect his reason. Uh, not a soul. The king's son, uh, Ferdinand, was the first man that leaped from his ship and cried. Cried, <clears throat> hell is empty and all the devils are here. Yes! 
But are they, Ariel? Safe? All right. I guess this is when I'm supposed to walk somewhere. Well, that's pretty, in a hallmark kind of way. Not a hair perished, and uh, as thou baddest me, I have dispersed them about the aisle in gr groups. What, Juliet ETA? Ariel, thy charge exactly is performed. But there's more work. Is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. How now? What is't thou canst demand? My, uh, equality? No creature may come near to equal Prospera. That lies beyond my power to bestow. My liberty. Thy liberty? Nay, this most of all I will not grant. Th that's not her line, is it? What's going on? But... Thou assured my freedom, didn't thou? I never said how dearly I hold thee. My habit's been to keep my soul well draped. Most loyal spirit, companion, and friend, is acting in my service not replete with excitement, amusement, and delight? Of course, mistress. Most truly it is so. Mr. Keat! They're way off script. It's magical. Then why, I pray you, wish you to be free? Excitement's a mere counterfeit of bliss. These storms and these adventures... I prefer to know thou still cared for my plainest self. I have thee in my grasp. I will not bend. I will not see thee flying forth alone. The envy would be more than I could bear. So come with me. Is that not in thy power? Spirit. Take my hands, most faithful friend, for but a little longer I beseech. Continue in thy service to my schemes, and when they are complete, I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I'll seek to make thy happiness so great that e'en the name of liberty is forgot. What sayest thou? To my most hopeful wish. Megan! Yes, I am most pleased. Your duty done for now, so go forth hence with haste. I've work to do. Thanks, Chloe. Well done. An admirable effort. And the ending. Absolutely transformative. I am... humbled. <laughs> no problem. What the hell just happened? Of your Was soul that real? Heaviness in me. Shake it off. Come on. We'll visit Caliban, my slave. Tis a villain, sir. I do not love to look on. He does make our fire. Fetch in our wood. What ho! Slave! Caliban! Come forth, I say! On! Uh, mm. As wicked do, as e'er my mother brushed. Thou poisonous slave, got by the devil himself, filth as thou art, 
I have lodged thee in mine own cell, till thou didst seek to violate the honor of my child. Shit. He's crying. Fetch us in fuel, and be quick. So, slave, hence. Fuck you. Where should this music be? In the air? Or the earth? Oh, thank God. This play is super intense. What is it? A spirit? It carries a brave form, but it is a spirit. No wench. It eats and sleeps and hath such senses as we have. I will resist such entertainment. Put thy sword up, traitor! Do you love me? O oh, heaven, O oh, earth, bear witness to this sound. I, beyond all limit of what else in the world, do love, prize, honor you. His tears run down his beard like winter's drops from eaves of reeds. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break. Their senses I'll restore. And they shall be themselves. Now my charms are all o'erthrown. And what strength I have's mine own. Pray, release me from my bands. With the help of your good hands. Isn't that fun? You're so dead. Yeah? How dead? Hella dead. rests upon your slender shoulders. <laughs> I've never had an experience like that on stage. Yeah, right? You... No, you. Like, seriously. 
I love nights after a show. <laughs> Is it always like this? Oh, totally. It's such a high. No more nerves, just the adrenaline. So, first timer, are you proud of yourself? <laughs> I think I'm just happy it's over. The last 12 hours have been freaking intense. You've gone through so much shit today. Right now is pretty good. Okay, the whole show was good. I admit it. Yeah. It was magical. So, what do you think? Should I run away to be an actress? Let's leave. For real. For real, huh? You said you wanted to skip town and never look back. Like I said last night. Let's do it! I, I know. I've been thinking about that all day. But that was... Don't say it was just a crazy thought. You mean it. I can tell. You want this. Yeah, but... Like... Eventually. Let's go now. Didn't we already agree on stage? We can't just... <laughs> Why not? What about money? I thought you were a high-rolling criminal now. I collected the money Frank wanted, but then I gave it back to Drew instead. It sounded like he needs it more. No shit. But man, I'm not looking forward to what Frank has to say when he finds out. We'll figure it out, Chloe. Anyway, I've got more than enough to start us out. I always get birthday money for my dad. Or should I say, hush money. Any more questions? I know our parents have been shitty, but we can't just leave them. That doesn't sound like Chloe Price. But I'm the only one my mom has left. You're right. What am I saying? She's got David now. How far could we possibly get without a car? I thought you were fixing that truck in the junkyard. I was just seeing if I could. Well, can you or can't you? Maybe. It's not like I do this all the time. You'll figure it out. But you don't even know what shape it's in. I don't need to, because I know you, and I know what you're capable of. In other words, we've got transportation covered. Fine then, drama queen. Where are we going? <laughs> you tell me. What uniquely twisted location does Chloe Price plus Rachel Amber equal? Hmm. <laughs> Why don't you show me L.A.? Perfect. 60 degrees every night. You and me on the Santa Monica Pier, forging on food truck food, smoking up, looking at the moon shining on the waves. Ugh. I love this time of night. <laughs> Don't you just feel like everything's possible? <laughs> Rachel. Stop. If you don't mean this, it's it's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. For fuck's sake! I've never been more serious in my life. 
<sighs> Chloe, what would it take to convince you? Give me something I can hold. Something solid that'll remind me what you promised. Okay, like what? How about your bracelet? This bracelet? Yeah. I haven't taken it off, ever. My dad said I wore it home from the hospital, if you can believe that. I don't know why, but it's always reminded me that the world is a lot bigger than Arcadia Bay. Sounds like the perfect gift, don't you think? You're asking for a lot, Chloe Price. I'll give it back when we actually leave. <laughs> you dork. I was joking. Of course I'm going to give it to you. <sighs> okay, I need your help untying this. I will leave you a little more now. Only a little, huh? What if I said let's leave tonight? Uh, really? What is this? Obviously a sign! So? What do you say? Let's go sneak some clothes and stuff from my house. For you or for me? I gotta say, my clothes look damn good on you. Cool. Let's do it. And then, we'll get the hell out of Arcadia Bay. Fuck yes. Oh, you're home. Rose, Rachel's home. And she um, brought her new friend. Our surprise star returns. You're just in time. Dinner's almost ready. Chloe, was it? Nailed it. I must have been pretty memorable. You were. I get the sense that you're used to making an impression. Rachel, honey, you were resplendent tonight. Thanks. Chloe, you must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, she must? I must? Of course. I made chicken a la king. I'm sure you both acted up quite the appetite.
Yeah, no thanks. I'm more of a burger a la king kind of gal. She's funny, this one. I'm aware. Chloe, I know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning, but with you and Rachel becoming such fast friends, I insist you join us for dinner. Don't you agree, Rachel? Yes, of course. Chloe, would you join us for dinner, please? Uh, of course. Great. I just need to wash off. Then I'll be right down. Don't be long. In meantime, perhaps you can help me with the table, Chloe? Sure thing, <laughs> Mrs. Amber. Okay, I'm gonna go pack. After dinner, we can make our break. You cool down here? Totally. <laughs> your parents love me. They're good at coming off that way, but don't let your guard down. And, Chloe, we just need to make it through dinner. Try not to say anything that, you know... That I would normally say. Exactly. Just some quality time with the Ambers. What could possibly go wrong? I should stay down here until Rachel is ready. <laughs> Rachel really was an overachiever before she met me. Glad I nipped that in the bud. Salvage it. No skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. 
Something about this photo doesn't seem right. Can't tag this while Rachel's mom is right there. She totally bust me. So this is what normal looks like. It's somehow way more boring and way weirder than I imagined. It's crazy to picture Rachel growing up here and being happy here, at least before she met me. And now I'm taking her away. <laughs> or is she taking me away? This doesn't really seem like the kind of place people run away from. <laughs> what am I saying? Fuck this place. They say all news is local, but damn. Doing the play was bad enough without having to read about it afterwards. Hope Drew's okay, though. Hmm. How to clear browser history, followed by a gap for all of yesterday? That's like cheating asshat 101. Poor Rachel. Holy shit. That's the guy who attacked Drew. I know I did the right thing, giving Drew his money back, but... Man. I wouldn't want to be on this guy's bad side. Guess some families actually go to Paris instead of just talk about it their whole lives. Easy to see who wears the literary pants around here. That's an original who gives a shit. Damn. Wonder if this is a family heirloom. Glasses. Damn. The ambers are fancy as shit. Never realized that getting drunk could be so complicated. Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. So, uh, Rachel was pretty awesome tonight. She sure was. And I imagine whatever trick the two of you pulled to get her back on stage was even more dramatic than the play. We can be very... Persuasive, together. Persuasive. Yes, that's a word for it. I get the sense that you're a force of nature yourself. I can see why the two of you get along so well. You can? Because it still seems crazy to me. Uh, what did you think of the play? Rachel was typically amazing. But I never liked The Tempest. What did you think of it? To be honest, I only really read a couple pages. 
Theater's not really my thing. I guess I'm not so into saying words someone else came up with. Fair point. Then again, I'm not sure you can judge the entire art form based on the dead white men your curriculum focuses on. Damn. Shots fired, Shakespeare. So, you putting me to work, or what? Yes. If you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. Uh, what if I can't? Excuse me? You said if I could... Never mind. You're a riot, Chloe. Alright, Chloe. You've set the table without ruining someone's marriage before. Piece of cake. Hiya, Mr. Amber. Chloe, what can I do for you? So, you're a district attorney, huh? I'm your district attorney. So, I can call you if I'm ever district arrested? <laughs> what would you be arrested for? It was a joke. Not a good one, clearly. What do you think? I thought Rachel was perfectly cast. She certainly was. We're very proud of her. I had no idea they were going to do that. Do what? I don't know the name for it. Uh, reverse casting? Casting a, a woman as a man? Oh, I just meant the wizard part. Ah, uh, I suppose that's also true. Your daughter's pretty great. Thank you. We're fond of her as well. You ever feel like she's so awesome at everything that you just want to shake her? Yeah. Uh, uh, me neither. Duty calls. <laughs> hey, good chat, Mr. Amber. Mm-hmm. It's off to the table with you. Yes, Chloe? Plates? Check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? I will be a dear. Talking to James. As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. Something else? What's your vice, Mr. Amber? I'm sorry? Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah, let's say sherry. 
Okay. One, two, three, Sherry. Comical. Chloe, maybe you can help me understand something. I'll give it a shot. Rose and I, we're worried about Rachel. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? Besides all my bad behavior rubbing off on her, you mean? Hmm. Another joke. You tell me. It seemed like you and Wells were happy to believe that this morning. Rachel is her own person. She's responsible for her actions. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have concerns about your friendship, but... Perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. Uh... Thanks? Yes, Chloe? The boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? Kidding. <laughs> it's the fancy looking cabinet, right? You got it. Uh. It's the triangle shape one. Basic shapes. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. Yes, Chloe? So, am I crushing it? This dinner would be taking literally minutes longer without you. Crushing it. Yes, Chloe? What else? <laughs> Feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in the- It's cool. I've got my own. Oh. You never know when you'll need to light a candle. Right? You are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. I- I think- Time to light some candles and bless this joint up a bit. <laughs> possibly go wrong.
So, Chloe, are you and Rachel in any of the same classes? Not since this morning. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. No. That's cool. <sighs> We're not. What about that fire? <laughs> <clears throat> Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank you, Rachel. The way the fire spreads so fast, I've never heard of anything like it. It's almost surreal. They say a fire like that could only come from a crime of passion. Passion? What does that mean? I don't know. You tell me. Because you're the DA, of course. It's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Arson? Why would anyone do that? Any number of reasons. With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Cool. Thanks. Well said, dear. It's imperative, in such troubled times as these, that we remember what is most important to us. Family. Family's not merely a gift. It is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for, and never, ever taken for granted. Enough of this asshole. Rachel may have to take it, but I don't. I'm going to turn his daughter and wife against him at his own dinner table. <clears throat> I'm not sure I agree, James. Oh? I thought you of all people would be grateful for family, at least. If you ask me, Gratitude is just one more way privileged people tell the unprivileged that they should be happy with what they have. That is an excellent point, Chloe. We must always be sensitive to the way our privileges shape our perspectives. Well said, Mom. Still, there must be some room for personal responsibility. I'm sure you agree, Chloe. What is this? An interrogation? Am I on trial? Maybe I should turn this table around and start lobbing some brain busters at you. Now, Chloe, there's no need to turn heated during a friendly discussion. Agreed. I'm sure we'd all love for you to enlighten us with some of your own perspectives. Sure. I believe that we should look closely at everyone, especially the people in power, to see what secrets they're hiding. Very well articulated, Chloe. I am consistently impressed with how politically aware your generation is. Chloe is an excellent articulator. Excuse me, dear? But if this is what passes for politically aware these days, we're in serious trouble. James, that's unfair and also rude to Chloe. No, I don't believe it is. It seems clear that these points Chloe is making are merely veiled attacks on me. 
Are you suggesting that I'm using some sort of incognito mode where I can keep my activities hidden? That's crazy. Excuse me? How dare you talk to me like this? Talk to you like what? I don't understand. Yeah, Dad. What is Chloe talking about? Nothing. It's her whole... attitude. You're so right, Mr. Amber. I forgot that women should always be quiet and respectful and let the men do all the talking. Perhaps we can talk later as we clear the table and wash the dishes. Don't worry, Mr. Amber. I can tell that my progressive attitude is not welcome in this house. I'll see myself out. James, Chloe is right. You owe her an apology. I owe her no such thing. I believe she's willfully acting belligerently just as she did this morning. It is how people like her respond to adversity. People like her? So we're profiling now? This is what eight months in the DA's office has taught you. I resent that. My office is committed to fair and equitable treatment. Yes, I've read the press releases. Excuse me? Are you calling me a hypocrite? Ha! <laughs> Rachel! I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad! You're a hypocrite! Okay? I know! You lying, cheating, piece of shit, motherfucker. Excuse me? We saw you. Yesterday. At the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel? Honey, whatever you saw or think you saw, I know it's hard. But I need you to trust me. Think we saw? Are you trying to gaslight us? There's no thinking involved. We saw you locking lips with some other woman. Best part is, she and I use the same drug dealer. That's enough! You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you. And I let my wife's compassion get the better of her. Oh? What kind of person is a that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. That's enough, James. I will not have you continue to speak to her like this. for one fucking minute can't you just be my dad Rachel that woman you saw that wasn't my mistress that was your mother
Cause most of us are bitter over someone Setting fire to our insides for fun To distract our hearts from ever missing out Shit!